So as a teacher, this is really a powerful tool. If I go into the grade book, Power Teacher Pro now has the capability to, um, to track standards. So for example, if I go into this um, assignment here, when I put in traditional scores, what it will do for me is I now have the capability to attach what standards go with that traditional score. For example, um, here is the traditional score. You can see it auto calculates over. Um, so if they got 100, it's a 4, 0 obviously is a 1. There's some auto calculation features that we can set up in there that makes it really easy to track those standards. Um, when I go in here and I look under progress and standards, the breakdown of data is really good for me. So for example, here is one. If I click on this, it's going to break out for me how those students are grouped by proficiency. So I like to think of it as um, a level one, you're a novice. A level two, you're developing. A level three, um, you're proficient. A level four, you're not only proficient, but you've exceeded expectations. You've gone above and beyond. So if I look at this, I can see that I have 19 kids that are either at a level four or a level three. And then I have seven students that are below that proficiency line. So if you're thinking about differentiating instruction um, and really targeting those standards, this is a great tool to do that. I can even dig in from the student perspective. I click on a student here. From the student perspective, they, there's some really cool data that I can look at. So if I look here, quarter four, and I click there, I can see over time if there have been any changes in that grade. Um, then I can look down here and I can see all the assignments that are attached to that particular one. So it gives me a great breakdown of data. And when I'm thinking about a personalized classroom and really being able to target um, and pull small groups and that kind of thing, being able to have this capability is pretty powerful.